Hey, what's going on, guys? So, me and Jimmy Gamer, hey, X Nick, going? Nick, where the heck you want to call me? I'm here in the very first live stream I'm doing from my phone. It is Pokemon Inclement Emerald, and as you could probably guys see, I am doing a Nuzlocke of Inclement Emerald. It is a ROM hack of a, well, Pokemon Emerald game that adds in not only up to Gen 7 Pokemon, but also its difficulty. It's a lot harder than what it typically would be for a Pokemon game. I know what you guys are thinking, isn't that crazy, isn't that, well, just jump into the extreme, but i played Pokemon my whole life, i played Emerald to probably 900 hours at some point, and I'm really looking to challenge myself, so I'm here live streaming actually from my phone, I'm playing a, well, not from my phone, playing my official Game Boy in quotations, and I'm rolling, so, uh, hey guys, let's go ahead and start. This is literally the first time I've ever played this game like this, so let's go ahead and see how it looks. I'm going to read the dialogue because I've never played this game on stream before, but uh, hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what you call a Pokemon. And by the way, guys, chat is open, so I can always read the chat, too. I'm, I'm always watching, as you guys always know from my other streams. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We human lives alongside Pokemon at times as friend, as friendly uh, playmates, at times of cooperative workmates, and sometimes we band together and battle each other like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel the Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research that's what I do. And you are? Well, guys, hi. I'm Mean Jimmy Gamer. I'm a boy. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and name my character Jimmy. Because that's my name. Hi, guys. How you doing? Yep, I'm Jimmy. Hi, guys. Oh, okay. You're Jimmy, who, who's moving to my hometown of Little Roofed. I get it now. All right, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leaps into a world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. Well, I'll be explaining to you later. Come see me on Pokemon Lab. Oh wait, before you, this is gonna be a message from the hack creator, of course. But this is just gonna be stuff I'm just gonna skip over real quick. This is just him explaining it. Quality of life changes. Up to Gen 8 will be added soon. This is not a complete hack, it's a continuing being updated hack, so that's to be expected. But as much as I am going to challenge myself with this game, I'm actually looking to play it on normal mode. I don't want to do hard mode, maybe I'll do it later. But especially because I'm not going to be playing it as hardcore as I actually could, because I don't want to mess with EVs and stuff like that. That's really nerdy Pokemon stuff that I don't really want to get into personally, but. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to play in normal mode. And the hack has uh, level caps, of course. I'm going to put more caps on to have just so I don't over level things. I'll get tempted to, and also just so the game doesn't fuck me over. And I over level over a gym later. I don't want to cheat at all. So you guys will see that I will have to watch the gym layers to see where each gym leader is going to be coming up. So that's going to be something I'm going to be watching. Yeah, yep, I know. Oh, sorry. Hey, guys, my mouse. My mouse vanished. I just want to mention, they let this kid move with his family, but he's in the back of the moving truck. They couldn't, like, give him a ride home or anything. It's such a weird thing. Also, I always thought this kid had blue hair, but this is actually a white beanie. More you know, right? So, here we are. There's our mom. Jimmy, you're here, honey! This is going to be my woman voice, by the way. It must be a daring ride with your things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has quite a feeling. 
it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? I mean, I just got here in a moving truck, so like, I don't know. And, and you get your own room, Jimmy. Let's go inside. I just want to phrase it like, See, Mom, this is... I don't know, I'm speaking for the wrong person. See, Jimmy, this isn't it nice in here, too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of us moving and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Jimmy, your room is upstairs. Go and check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our moving... Yeah, yeah, okay. So, be told they're real. I always thought as a kid you could catch these guys. And also, I was so confused when I was younger. I had this game. I had Ruby version. And uh, I thought that uh, it was weird in Ruby. These are actually Machamps. But in Emerald, they used the Hoenn Pokemon. So it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, classic GameCube. Love this. It's always one of my favorite things. Every Nintendo game for Pokemon. They had the, the game console. That's like the main console. So, uh, what time is it? It is 3. So, hello guys, welcome to me turning what time it is. So, uh, let's see. So, that is... That's 1, 2, 3, oh, two, three oh, about right there. I don't know if time actually does anything. Oh, hello Kota, welcome to the stream. Your chats are on my screen. I actually had no idea that would happen. Um, don't say anything inappropriate. I really don't want to edit this. That goes to everybody. Don't say anything weird. I really don't want to edit this video. Look, it's Pedalberg Jim. Maybe Dad will be on. Interviewer. We bought you here to. We bought you here this report from in front of the Pedalberg Jim. Oh, it's over. That was my reporter voice, was it good? I think Dad was on there, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Oh, that's still the mom talking, isn't it? I think it's the mom. I don't know. Somebody's talking. I think it's the mom talking. But I just totally flubbed it, so I'm just going to skip these lines. Uh, they want me to go next door and go meet the person next door. Uh, how's the sound, Coda? Does it sound pretty good? Does it look good? I actually don't know what it looks like on screen right now. I'm just watching my Twitch chat. You'll see a lot of signs. I'm actually not going to go and talk to every sign because I've played this game probably hundreds of times for many hours. I've never played it in a hardcore aspect like I am right now. Oh my god, I just walked in somebody's house and they're freaking out like I totally would too, but you know, whatever. Oh, hello, who are you? Again, just walked in somebody's house and I don't talk at all. How do I just... Not talking. Uh, my controller disconnected. I got so scared. That was not a bit. Oh my god, my controller disconnected again. Hold on, everyone. I have to go get a charger. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, so my controller disconnected. I had to go get a charger from the other room. And uh, hopefully it will still play. Sarahwise, that sucks. Because <laughs> it won't... Uh, that's a long... It's a very short stream for me trying to do this for the first time. But hey, you know what? Growing pains, as they might say. Um... No, I just want to charge you. No, I, I just want to charge controller. I just want to charge you. Hold on, it's still not solving it.
Okay, I'm I'm back. Um, I had to figure out where to plug in at because I'm currently using a plug to charge my phone. Um, I, it, she wants me to go talk to her daughter that she thinks is upstairs. I totally just skimmed through all that because I was I was nervous, but you know what? Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and then, as typically as I would as a child, I'm gonna go grab his ball, and then she's gonna come in and be pissed or not? Huh? I, I would be pissed. Just stranger came in, just tried to grab my ball, or whatever. Hello, who are you? That's that could be weird out of context. I'll take that out of context, please. Oh, so you're Jimmy. You so you move. Your move was today. Um, I'm May. I'm glad I'm making her sound very nervous. She sounds nervous from the dialogue too, so that's perfect. <laughs> glad to meet you. I. I have a dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I thought she was gonna like say she would be friends with me or whatever. I heard about you, Jimmy, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you'd be nice, Jimmy, that we could be friends. Oh, see, now she's gonna try and be friends, but whatever. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I I've just met you, Jimmy. He he he. Oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch a wild some wild Pokemon. Oh, hey, that reminds me. You should go see Dad's newest Pokemon. Am I being a bit too... Am I being a, am I being a bit... Blah, blah, blah. Am I being a bit too loud? Here, let me go... Uh, I can edit that real quick. Uh, I, just, I just muted it from the stream. Let me go ahead and pull that down a little bit. Hey guys, you're looking at my stream control. Don't mind me. What? It, it just... Okay. Okay. Um, where do I go back to the, the game? Oh, there we go. Hey, I'm back. Hello. He just got three really... He just got three really rare ones from the... Uh, oh, darn. Which reason did they come from again? Um... Okay, guys, here's the question. What region do I choose my starter from? I could just choose what region this is, but because this is a difficulty hack, they have every region I could choose from. So uh, I'll take requests from the chat. And also, is the game volume loud enough? Can you, can you guys hear anything from the game to begin with? Uh, Coda in the chat, can you hear anything from the game? So my instinct is telling me that I should go Sinnoh because I like Sinnoh starters. I like Chimchar, I like Turtwig, I like Piplup, but this is a Hoenn game. So like, I feel like it'd be kind of weird to have Sinnoh starters in Hoenn, but it could be fun to do something different than what I've done a thousand times by myself. But seeing this is the first time I've played this game before on stream, I'm thinking maybe I should just go with Hoenn and just let it be, you know? But there's also Alola, which is really cool, and Kalos, and Unova. But I'll get to those all in their own time. I think I'll do a... Oh yeah, there should be game sound playing. Here, let me um, go to setting. Can you hear game sound now? There should be like a, a song happening and you're hearing like my my arrow moving like a beeping noise. Oh wow. Okay, I guess I'll have to figure out for next stream then. Yeah, it, that could just straight be like a game issue that I might have to figure out for next time. But I'm, I'm just going to choose the Hoenn region just because this is a Hoenn game. And I feel like it'd be kind of weird to not use the Hoenn Mons to start out first time. So I feel like this could be a multiple attempt kind of run. But we'll see what happens. 
because just so you guys know, this is a Nuzlocke, so I can only catch one Pokemon per route. Only the first encounter, of course, too. I can use Healing Items in battle. It's not a hardcore Nuzlocke. I can use Healing Items in battle. I can have my Pokemon have held items on them, too. And uh, the other crucial thing is, if any of my Mons faint, they're dead, and I can't, be, I can't use them again. They will not be missed. So, uh, I gotta go up to this girl. Um, hi. There's a scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't understand any Pokemon. Can you see what's happening for me? That's my, that's my voice I'm doing for her. Help me. You guys about to get eaten. Hello, you over there. Please help me. In my bag. There's Pokeballs. Okay, so this is where I choose my starter. The game starts off hot. So I'm going to go ahead and choose... Uh... I'm going to choose... Torchic. Fire starters are really good. Usually fire types are pretty rare to run into in the wild. So choosing a fire type as my starter probably would be a good idea for me just to start out the game with having a type that I'm not I might not see in the game ever. Oh look, and Avid starts out with Ember. So I'm just gonna cook them real quick. But they're growling at me. They're so intimidating. This little trash panda is so scary. Not really. So typically this fight is supposed to be the easiest in the game. Actually, it's even easier because I took no damage from this freaking raccoon, which is insane. Phew. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I got jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Jimmy. This is not the place to chat, so by my Pokemon lab. So come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? That's Birch. So Jimmy, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But by the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with the ball. I don't know the last fucking word. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Ah, yes, and thanks for rescuing me. I'd like to say that you can have this Pokemon you used earlier. And I got the, got the Torchic. Hype. Hype in the chat, please. And I would like to nickname my Torchic. Um, I need a nickname for my Torchic. I will take names from the chat, and I'll take names from followers, subscribers, and uh, people that generally will support me in the stream. So, any ideas? Uh, Coda put a squid in chat. I could name the Torchic Squid. That's an interesting name for a Torchic, not gonna lie. But I will take any name that you guys can think of for a fire chicken. I will not be naming it KFC because that's offensive. It's it's a male. I, I could just name it Flame. Flame isn't bad. Okay. I guess their name will be Flame. Gonna name this fire chicken Flame. Oh, uh, never mind. It's a mad flame. No, it, yeah, it's a mad flame. It's a mad flame. Mad flame. Hello, fire chicken mad flame. So his kid May. My kid May is also studying to be a Pokemon while hanging out. Jimmy, don't you think it might be... Oh, I have to hydrate. Thank you, CM. Here, MJG, I don't drink until I'm told to, so I gotta hydrate because I'm, I'm, I just don't drink enough water while I'm streaming. Glug, glug, glug. 
Uh, don't you think it'd be a good idea to go see May? Uh, no. Oh, don't you think? Don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. Uh, nah. Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. No, I don't think I want to. You should really go meet my kid, Jimmy. Uh, I'm fine. You should go meet my kid, Jimmy. He's just he's just gonna pull a pistol out and have it to my head to say yes, and I'm still gonna sit here and say no. He's gonna break. He's gonna break before me. Because I have you from my side. Okay, old man. I guess I'll go see your kid or whatever. Great. May will be happy to see you too. It just all switches. As I kept saying no, it just all kept getting darker and darker and more serious. Then when I say yes, finally, it just turns all cheery again. Like, yes, I'm so happy. So Route 101. So typically when I see a Route sign like that, I can catch a new Pokemon. But in this situation, I actually don't have balls yet. Um, I get given my Pokeballs when the Nuzlocke starts after I go talk to Mei and defeat her in combat. So this will be my first encounter typically. And thank God it's not because I don't want a Trash Panda. Even though if I do catch one, I will probably name it Trash Panda, but... I'm just going to go and just do uh, the secret strats of just walking through the grass very slowly. And also, I can catch new Pokemon in towns, too. So, like, you know, a town sign tops up like that. I could technically catch a Mon in here if there was grass, but there is no grass in here. So, because I've played this game, like, a thousand times, I know that she's, like, right up here staring at some grass for some reason. Oh, you know, look at that. She likes her weed, guys. What can I say? Let me see. This Pokemon on Route 103 includes... Oh, what? Oh, hi, Jimmy. I see my dad gave you a Pokemon gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what a, being a real trainer is like. Okay, okay. So what do you think, guys? Can I beat her first try? Because even though I don't have the Pokeballs, I will count this if I lose. I have to restart. So uh, let's see how this works out. So she's got a uh, a mudkip, and I am a I am a fire chicken. This is not going to go well. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I go for the the burn. Maybe I get a burn. Burn. Oh God. Let's actually go for a growl. They're using a physical attack. I'm not clucked. I'm fine. Look, it didn't even do that much. Here, I'll scratch it now. Oh. Maybe I growl again? Oh, oh, maybe. Maybe I can catch up now. Oh god, don't kill me. Don't kill my chicken, please. Crit. Oh no. So, uh Uh Um And she stole my cash. Um well, uh, let's, uh, so let's, I'm not gonna, so since it's the beginning of the game, I'm not gonna count that, <laughs> because if I just restarted the game, I would just choose Torchic again and get back to that same situation, so, since I've literally not done anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and just play it off like, oh, guys, that sucked, but here I am once again, <laughs> ready to go fight that that water bird 
But if I just restart, I'm just going to get back to the same situation I'm right now. So I'm going to go and just go, because I'm going to choose all the same stuff again, because I really want to use a Torchic. So I'm just going to go in here. Uh, you guys are going to make me restart everything. Okay, fine, fine. It, it counts, it counts. Okay, okay. Let me just, give me a second. I have to, uh, um, I have to flip my phone. Ooh. And look, I restart. Are you happy? I, I restart. Are you happy? Okay. So this time, I'm actually... Okay, so text is already set there. Set... Okay, everything's actually set already. I, I thought that I needed to change the speech to quicker. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to read all this dialogue again. If you guys want to read the dialogue, literally just restart your stream when this is an archive, and you'll see the dialogue there. Because I'm not reading this dialogue again. <laughs> I've done it once. I'm not doing it a second time. Because that'd be freaking insane. Um, hey guys, I I'm still Jimmy. Um, this guy has got Alzheimer's because he can't remember my face. I was your I lose. Oh, I just I just forgot how to spell my name. I was literally just here a few minutes ago, dude. Like chill. Too bad. Jimmy Jimmy's here again. I'm I've revived like Jesus. What, who, who is dead is my chicken. My chicken's dead. I need a new name for my chicken. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Yeah, I'm choosing normal mode. EVs, whatever. Just let me get through. I need to, uh, yes, I want normal mode. Yes, yes. Oh, wait. Any more caps? Um, it's a level cap. Can't be 100 till champion. Yeah, yep. Yeah, documents. Yada yada. I'm I'm flustered, cluck. That's who I am. I am flustered, clucked right now. I can't believe I lost that. And now I'm in this freaking moving truck again. I I got knocked out. My parents rushed me to the hospital in our only car we owe, which is a moving truck. And now here I am back again. Jimmy, I'm so glad that you're back from the hospital. Hope that truck ride wasn't as bad the first time as it was the second time. I'm just like all beat up. This fish like knocked out my chicken and beat the shit out of me. I, I lost my wallets. The movers are still in here. They haven't cleaned up yet. Well, I can run already. I didn't realize I can run already. Okay, so right now it is uh, 3... I'm just going to say 3.30. Fuck it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I went too far. I'm just going to... No, I didn't go far enough. I'll just put it 3.30, fuck this. Yes, yes, I had to reset the clock, yeah. Insanely enough, they knocked me out and they broke my clock. I had to reset the time, like what the heck. Hello, Zach, welcome to the stream. I died, I got knocked out, and now I'm just skipping through dialogue. You want to see a dialogue of me saying it in really, really weird voices? I am, I did it before. Um, now I'm gonna go talk to our neighbor who is a, uh, who is a murderer. I walked to a stranger's house. They're, they're shocked I'm here, by the way. It's crazy. I was just here earlier. So I gotta change my, um, my title to second attempt. 
Oh, and Zach has a question a day. If you could have a video game character as a summer camp counselor, who would you love to have as one? Um, Kratos. Because Kratos is rad, and I think that he would be the best person to teach you canoeing. Um, I'm just going to choose my chicken again. Thank you. He could teach me canoeing and about Greek, about Greek lore. And if I'm a kid, he could call me boy. I would gladly let him call me boy. Like, forget Atreus being mad at him. If I heard Kratos call me boy, I'd be like, yes, sir. You want to go help this guy? He's getting chased. I, I'll be real with you. I make, I, people like to make fun of him. But if I was getting chased by a raccoon, I would yell in fear also. Okay, let's get my chicken back. So, Zach, you missed earlier. I already died in my Nuzlocke. Kratos feels like the kind of camp counselor that... That he would let you get away with stuff if he found it hilarious. Like, if you could make that man crack a smile, he'd let you get away with it. The Arbiter! Why would you choose the Arbiter? Yes, Professor Birch, I killed your trash panda. Your daughter killed my chicken earlier. Yes, yes. Yes, I know. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's a female chicken this time. <laughs> That's a fair point. What is the name of this chicken? Oh, it's 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 freaking uh Fuster Cluck. Uh I don't have enough I don't have enough wording. So uh Let's do, uh, you know what? Let's see, what can I do? <laughs> Let's just do... Oh, Fuster. But it's a... Mm. You're right. It would look better with the C, actually. It would look better with the C. I thought about the C. I'm probably just going to shorten them while I'm talking about them and just call them Fuster. Yes. Professor Birch, I've been here twice today. I just like to go and go kill your... I think I'm okay with the, the C-U-C-K. I could change it later if I want to change it again. So I don't have balls yet, but I could die by his daughter's hand again with her insanely strong water fish thing. I don't know, what is Mudkip? Like, what is that? It's like a fish with legs. Oh, so ordinarily this would be my first encounter. But I don't have balls yet. Nor do I want this thing as an encounter. This thing actually is, uh... It's not the best. Oh, I can't escape? Bro. Bro. Let me go. <laughs> Let me out of here. Let me run away. Oh my god. I'm out of here. I'm owie. <laughs> I almost got murdered by just a random bird. Could you imagine that? I die again, but it's not even two. His daughter. I actually lose to just a random park animal on the way there.
Okay, so they gave me the Poke Vela, so I can heal wherever I need to. I didn't get that last time because I didn't need to heal last time, but this time I definitely need to heal because I got freaking messed up by that bird. That's like those freaking uh, those freaking seagulls you see on the pier. They just attack people for no reason. Yo, a shallow would be sick. That's a good typing, and I could run away with it. I don't know why I'm running into everything suddenly. Like last time, I got here running into one mon. Never ran into three now. Yes, I did this audio before. Hey, how you doing? Let me just uh, murder you with my chicken. Okay, so can I beat her this time? Hopefully I can beat her this time. So she's got this 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 uh this fish. I don't even know what this thing is. Is it like a toad or something? So last time I tried strategy, but this time, honestly, I'm just gonna bang my head against the wall. I'm just gonna scratch and just not stop. Oh my god, you are actually kidding me, right? Crit, please! Oh my god. Why can't I beat her? Why can't I beat her? Like, what is actually happening? <sighs> Hold on, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm literally using my official Game Boy to speed through now. So, uh... I died again, so I'm trying again. I'm going hyper speed this time. Oh, sorry. I didn't set the clock. Uh, I'm just going to call it 3.30 again. Yes. I've got terrible luck when it comes to these freaking chickens. But it's okay. I can go hyper speed. I didn't want to use this, but I got to because I I gotta follow my own rules. Yes, I know. Yes. Yeah, I'm thinking this time I don't use the chicken. But it's okay because I know what I should use. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go to the Sinnoh region. I'm gonna go to the Sinnoh region and I'm gonna grab one of their best mons and I'm gonna win. Oh, sorry, little girl. I, I just. So I'm going to the Sinnoh region. These are now going to be all Sinnoh Pokemon. And uh, I'm going to take me a Chimchar. Hey. Hold on a second. Okay, so this time I've got the I've got the monkey. I'm just gonna hurry up and kill the raccoon. The raccoon actually did damage this time. Yep, I know, yep, yep, yep. Hi, yeah. 
Oh, wait. Um, what do I call this monkey? That's the real thing. Like, what? what is this guy? Is he... Uh, should I just go for, like, a monkey name? Should I name it someone from the chat? Anybody in the chat want to give me a name? Coda coming up with the nickname again. Okay. I waited a few seconds to see if I can get somebody to anybody else to come in with a nickname, but okay. Oh, can you not hear me? Am I gone? Hello? Hello? Uh, give me a sec. Let me make sure my microphone's on. Hello? Yeah, my microphone should be on. Oh. <laughs> it's probably because I was just so quiet while I was waiting for uh, chats to come in. Okay, so uh, ordinarily again, this will be my encounter, but it's not because I don't have I don't have balls yet. But next time I come here, oh, a swaddle! I love these guys. Maybe I can get one of these next. So now I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I think I will take the Poke Vial this time and also heal up again. I th think I'm actually needing to heal this time. Oh no, I'm full health. I, I thought because of the raccoon, I thought because of the trash panda actually uh, hit me earlier that, that I might be injured. Oh, I put the, I put the microphone on mute for a second. That's probably why. So why I'm going in here, I'm going to go ahead and just make a point of saying that if I die here, it's my last attempt for your day. <laughs> my hardest challenge yet. Oh my gosh, a Blitzel for, my, for an encounter would be amazing, actually. Capuchin. Capuchin in here, looking at the zebra. Getting, like wild Madagascar vibes from this, but whatever. So let's go ahead and see if we can do it. I'm glad I put no bets in line with the chat because I would have owed them something crazy. So here we go. I'm going to go again. Let's see if we can beat the rival this time with my monkey. She still has the same one. She did a lot of damage earlier. I can leer. It'll lower her defense. She'll still hit me though. Okay. I think at this rate I will actually beat her. Oh yeah, I got her. Don't crit me. I got her guys. Oh my god. The chicken was just way too frail. Why send a chicken to do a monkey's job, guys? Oh my gosh. Man, here I thought I was going to get to the first gym today. This is going to be like, I think I'm going to get to the, the catching tutorial and just stop. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. It might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. 
Well, it's time to head back. Let's head back to the lab. Okay. Progress is being made. On my... Is this fourth try? Or is this fifth, my fifth try? Either way, progress is made. And it's kind of insane, actually. I'm, I'm actually having a hard time believing I actually beat her. But whatever. Maybe it's been helping me a long time for my research. It has an extensive history of a Pokemon train already. Here, Jimmy, in order for my research, I think you should have this Pokedex. And I received a national dex already. The Pokedex is a high deck tool that automatically records of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid, May, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon, records the data into the Pokedex. Why? May looks for me while I'm out doing field work. And it shows. Oh, wow, Jimmy got Pokedex too. It's great. Just like me. I've got something for you too. She gave me 30 Cherish Balls. So she gave me a National Dex as part of this, this hack. Because there's lots of Pokemon that's not actually originally from this game. So it just kind of make it where you can record them and get information on them still. I don't know why she gave me Cherish Balls. Maybe it's to make a point of like this is a really special situation. But... But I got balls. And they're just red, bright red ones. So, uh, oh, so this is a really funny thing. So your mom's supposed to catch you going through here, but I'm actually going to go around her. Because if I sneak around her, you get like a cool interaction where like you're just about to leap about her. Yeah, see? And she'll just come out of nowhere. Jimmy, Jimmy, did you, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, wait. What an adorable Pokemon you've got from Professor Birch. How nice. Your father, you're your father's child, all right? You look good together with a Pokemon. Here, honey, I want you... Oh. Dad's old fishing rod. So I got an old rod, so I can already make fishing encounters, too. So when I go to a new route, I can either do the grass encounter or fishing. And typically, if I fish, you probably know what I'm going to get. And it starts with an M and ends with carp. But in this situation, I think I'll actually um, do the grass because there is no water here anyway. So first encounter is my new friend that hopefully I won't let die. Brother. Oh. Uh. Yes, I do. But I didn't heal. So I'm just going to throw this ball and hope that it stays in. Oh, fub. Oh, he didn't attack me. Okay. This is already intense. So if this Wormpole kills me, I have to reset again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I almost died here. <laughs> this war I don't think the Wormpool would have killed me right now, but it could have possibly if it warmed me down enough. I didn't read anything about it, so uh let's give this worm a nickname. So I think we're just gonna call him uh, uh I'm just gonna take names from chat and I'm gonna name him CM CM. Uh, CM, you are my worm pole. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching. Well, I get both the worm pole and my monkey, but... I get both the worm pole and my monkey, but I only get to get one Pokemon per route. But I do need to actually heal. Um, what is... I'm 
I'm going to use the Poke Vial real quick to heal up. I could do it that way, but I feel like the problem is most water Pokemon are Magic Carps. I don't want to have 10 Magic Carps. I might get to, just because I, I will make mistakes and inevitably something will die and be lost. But here I am on a new route again. Um, so it's time for me to go ahead and catch something. So let's see what I get. Hopefully I get that zebra. It'd be sick. Oh, man. Hey, guys. I'm Bud Dringer Nick. How you doing? Oh, you got a ground type move. That's lovely. Okay, let's just injure you just oh my gosh almost killed it okay so grubbin i have no doubt i'm kicking i'm, I'm catching this guy here i am again on my own so i got me a grub not a huge fan of it They often gather near place near places frequented by electric Pokemon in order to avoid being attacked by bird Pokemon, though it normally lives in underground. Going down the only road I've ever known. Oh, what do I call you? What do I call this grub? Um, I'm thinking I call him. Uh... Who else is chatting in chat today? Oh, Zach did. Hello. Um, let's go ahead and call you Zach. Zach, thank you for chatting earlier. And you are now my grubbin. I didn't plan on calling all of my my followers grubs and other kind of buggies but you know what it's what happened and it's fine I guess so here we go I, I even fit his full name in here it's crazy meanwhile Coda is playing song lyrics in chat that I'm totally not following what the song is what is here here's my next route route 102 i can get my next new friend and this one will probably be named kota because i'm running out of people who have chatted to... oh my gosh i mean just gonna throw that I mean, that is, that is the perfect one to name Kota. That is hilarious. And it's a pretty good mon too. Uh, Gafarita is pretty cool. And it is indeed a girl too. I wasn't gonna pay an, I wasn't gonna pay an attention to the gender, but <laughs> it is indeed a girl also. So, boom. That's insane. And she's a pretty good mon too. So that, that all works out. I don't know what my level cap is right now for me to level my mons up to the correct level, but. <laughs> Perfect, it's all coming to get her. Um... Yeah, so I can get my, I can get my nicknames changed here also, but let's go ahead and I know, right? I better not fub it up now. Okay, so I have no gym badges to learn anything. 
But I will do though is go over here and talk to this man here. I can use healing items in battle, so me buying a couple of potions will probably be really good for me later on. And also, poison can be deadly because I can walk and things might die in my pocket. So, so that's that. You know what the other hilarious thing is? I'm going to have to listen to Here I Go Again later. Oh, it's okay. Now, the funny thing is, I'm playing this on my phone, and it's a Nintendo game, but I'm actually using my PlayStation controller right now to play it, so it feels like I'm not even doing anything different streaming. So this is my first trainer, and these guys are all level 2. So... I think I'm going to let them just sit in the back and absorb HP while I uh, fight this trainer. Actually, I don't know if the HP share is even on right now, actually. So, this be a learning experience. They got themselves a dog. I've got myself a monkey. I think monkey beats dog. Monkey has to kill dog quick because this thing is howling, which is scary. I'm a little stronger than it, but it's okay. Oh okay. yeah, oh, so in the back, all of them were actually gaining HP too. Okay, so CM learned Poison Sting. Zach got the level three. Koda is still not level three yet. I know what it means to walk along a lonely street of dreams. Oh my gosh, is it that song? I didn't realize it was that song. Level 8. I learned Taunt. Oh, CM is level 4 now. To be totally real with you, I'm, I feel bad that I gave CM that, that freaking... Uh, I gave CM that Mon to be, but it was kind of just... It just kind of happened that way. Because I am not going to be using a worm pole this whole freaking balls too. I know, right? So as I get farther into the series though, I will I do want to remind everybody I'm not going to reset constantly. If I get really deep in and I lose, well, it's over. I'm not going to just reset again. I might give it some time to switch to a different game. But I've played Emerald before. I've just never played this version of it with this many Pokémon. There's like you know, there's 800 Pokémon in this game right now. And usually it's the game that has just, you know, 50 150, 151 something like that. So I might get thrown off by a couple of things. I might have some situations where I walk out barely by walk out. Oh, I wish I could have got one of these guys. I've been sick. I love Swaddle. Ash has Swaddle. In the black and white anime. I can't believe... Like it's been a it's been a breeze so far, but I know that it's probably because my monkey is so strong against these guys. But later on, like I'm gonna need to like get some some type variety because there's no way that oh that'd been cool to get a time a time pole. That's already a water type that I'll be able to get a water type with. Youngster Allen's wants to battle with his trash panda oh I might need to heal after this actually I need to 
keep reminding myself to check my HP because I might actually run into an issue where I need to heal frequently because of the fact that I'm not used to playing games like playing Pokemon like this where you like watch my HP and my, my PP and stuff. Oh, Koda's level 4. Hey, Koda, level 4. Nice. Well, I'm glad I'm not a fighting type yet. Even though that will hurt. That is a stab attack. If you use a fire type move with a fire type, it'll always be stronger than using a fire type move on a normal type because fire types get bonuses for using the same type as it. So eventually, my Chimchar and Lord's Might Punch, it's gonna suck. But when it becomes a Monferno, where it's also a fighting type, it's going to be able to take good advantage of it. Also, I need to watch these berry bushes. So typically when I play by myself, I don't pay attention to them too often. But they can be very useful. Oh, shit. The hell? Hi. I'm not fighting you, sir. Sorry. If I didn't already get a grass encounter, I probably would have counted that as an encounter for this route. I remember her as a kid. This trainer here would always wreck me as a kid, so I wonder if she's actually very tough or it was just all in my head. Oh, maybe she was tough. That's a freaking weasel. I mean, I guess I'll just... A scratch? Maybe it doesn't have a water type move? I need to hope that this thing does not have a water type move. It doesn't look like it has a water type move, so that's good for me. Hello, Shroomish. I'm just going to go and burn you. The shroomish is still alive and it's paralyzing my monkey. This rude shroomish. I'm gonna scratch the shroomish. I actually wouldn't mind getting a shroomish later on. Luckily, effect spore popped up, but like since I'm already paralyzed, it doesn't matter. Oh, my alarm went off. Sorry about that, guys. So I'm going to grab this item. So the plan is I'm going to grab this item. I'm going to go get a fishing encounter. And I'm going to go here and heal up real quick. And now that I am healed up. We're going to run over to get a fishing encounter. I'm going to register you to select. I hope I have my select button mapped. Oh, I do. So let's see what I get. And is it a magic carp, guys? Actually, that's not a bad encounter. It's a freaking core fish. I can't hit you because you're level two. So maybe I can just throw a ball at you then. It's hardening on me. Luckily, harden and effect moves like that to make stats higher doesn't actually affect like your catch rate for like how easy you are to catch or how hard. So, okay, bye, Coda. I'm going to be ending soon anyway, so actually, I'll see you here in the next couple hours. Well, next hour, I guess. Oh, my gosh, if this freaking crawdad would get in my ball. I 
I can't hit it. It would just die. Yeah, it would. Can anything hit this? How high is this guy's catch rate? Oh, he's got a water type move. Shit. Oh, that hurt, but it didn't. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. I think I can affect. I think I could stand a crit from this still. Brother. What is your issue, you freaking crawfish? I wish it was a magic carp now. How many balls do I have left? 19, okay. Sorry guys, I had to go investigate. But see, I'm leveled up. And I caught me a fish. So, uh, I'm just going to start naming this after followers. And uh, if you follow me on my Twitch, twitch.dtv slash meanjimmygamer, I'm just going to start handing out names to people. So this is Wedge. Why? Because... Is the only follower I could think of off the top of my head right now. So Wedge the the core fish is here. And now we're gonna go inside my dad's gym and talk to this man. Hmm? Well if it isn't Jimmy, so you're here you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh I see you your Pokemon with you. Hmm, I guess you're trying to become a trainer like me, Jimmy. That's great news. I'm looking forward to it. And here comes Wally. Um, I, I'd, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm? You're, uh, uh, oh, right. You're Wally, right? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to stay with my relatives in Vern Turf Town. I thought I'd be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I never, I never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Jimmy, you heard that? Go with Wally and make sure he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, I'll land you one of my Pokemon. Wally received a Zigzagoon. It's like it's a dream sequence now. So did it work out? Wally, thank you. I did... Uh, uh, I get it, I get it. So dad won't fight us because he's not we're we're not strong enough to fight him yet. So we have to go fight a trainer over here. Oh and here's Scott. Excuse me. Let me guess from the way that you're dressed and the Pokemon. You're a Pokemon trainer. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all dirty. Either way, you're a rookie trainer. Maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land to search for talented trainers. I'm sorry I haven't taken... Oh, it's okay. Okay. So this is Route 114. I can actually catch a Mon here. But do I want to catch it in the land or water? Well, I got a core fish right now, so I think I'm fine to just catch it on the land. Oh, it's centric. Oh god, okay. Um I guess I'll take a centret. They're not exactly amazing. They're kind of meh. Mm. 
so your name, Mr. Centret, will be uh, Hold on, hold on a second. Let me go to my follower list. I will call you Lurker four four five. Anybody who follows fresh on my Twitch, though, I will gladly give you a name before people who have always been followed to me. So keep that in mind for people who are watching live. And also between next time and this time and next time, I'll figure out the audio issue so you can hear some of the audio from the game. But that'll be all for this time for me, guys. So I got to Route 104 and I've gotten most of my encounters. I talked to my dad in Pellberg and now I'm heading towards Rustboro. So... Be ready for the next stream where I'll be heading to Rustboro to have my first gym battle. I've got a pretty interesting lineup of mons so far and my followers and my capuchin. I might rename him later. And it'll be really cool to catch up with you guys later. So I'm Mean June Gamer. This was a live stream. If you guys are watching me live on Twitch, hi. If you guys aren't, hello. I'm also on YouTube under MJG Live Uncut where you might see this cut in the shorts. You also might see this in its own, you know, archive for a video. So be excited for more of these later on. I'm the Mean Jimmy Gamer, and I'm signing out. Peace out, and have a good night, guys. Namaste.